Eric, did you, did they dump water on you like a jug, or how'd you get all wet? Yeah, I got a lot of water on me. Um, I don't know what else. I didn't look. Hopefully, my, I like that polo. I hope it did not ruined. They probably didn't order another kids' youth XL for me. So I hope I'm praying that that there was no Gatorade on that doggone thing. Um, and then um, you, you guys outscored them twenty-seven to three on free throws. How, how big was that? Well, I, you know, it was really important for us. I mean, we felt like, you know, attacking the rim was, was, was something that we really wanted to do. Um, we didn't want to settle. We didn't want to jack up threes. We didn't want quick shots. Um, I thought we did a good job of understanding the shot clock for the most part. Um, you know, to my knowledge, we only took two shots that, that, that maybe I was not happy with. Um, we had a great, you know, a great few days of preparation as well. Um, just proud of, of the execution on both sides of the ball. I thought, you know, defensively, this team is just so hard to, to try to stop and, um, you know, to hold them to, to 66 points is, is, is not easy. And um, it, it was a 46-point turnaround from the last game. I mean, what, that had to feel good. Yeah, we stunk last game, um, you know, but – you know, you got to bounce back, and I thought we bounced back. And and uh, look, that's a it's hard. You, you play the sixth ranked team in the country, and you beat them. Um, so it's a heck of a win for the program. I can I can tell you that. I got one more, if I could, before I turn it back to Mike. I know you don't like to call timeouts. You must have said something pretty good uh, there to go on a seventeen to two run. What was the message? And and uh, obviously the guys responded. I, you know, I think the biggest message was just, hey, look, they made a run. We knew they were going to make a run. And don't feel sorry, if, you know, for ourselves. We've got to get back to what we worked on the last few days, which is defend the three, run them off the three-point line. When they dribble, drive, get there quickly, try to take a charge or clog the lane, and then get into our scramble defense. Um, and, and, you know, attack the basket and, and, and be strong with the ball and two-foot jump stop and finish at the rim or – or go to the free throw line. Curtis. Hey, Coach, I wanted to ask you about two guys in particular tonight, J.D. Note, whose minutes have probably not been exactly what he wanted the last couple of games to come out and respond the way he did tonight, and then Ethan Henderson, who hasn't been playing at all, to come in and give you a spark when he was in there. Yeah, I thought Ethan came in, did a really good job. Um, you know, his quickness off the floor tonight really helped us. Um, when he went in, in in his seven minutes, I thought it was, you know, really valuable minutes. Um, you know, he, he played his role. He rebounded. He, he, he blocked two shots. Um, and then J.D. Note, I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a really, really special player. I mean, 12 points in 16 minutes. And, and um, I mean, he's going to be a great player for us. We're just trying to kind of teach him how to be a point guard. Um, and what a good shot is, and and um, but he's an explosive player. He's he's a guy that the opposition has to really talk about in their game prep because he is perfectly capable of having huge scoring nights. Andrew, yeah, Coach Jalen Williams hasn't been a big scorer throughout the year, but y'all started going to him there in early in the second half. What, what gave you the confidence to go to him in the block and uh, like you did? Well, one, he's a really good passer. Uh, Hutch and, and so that was really important uh, because we knew he's a willing passer a good passer he's got good vision and they put a smaller guy on him uh, and so when they put um, Primo on him you know I felt like that's a matchup that we had to you know go to and then I you know as I've stated you know a few minutes ago that it was really important for us if you shoot a ball close to the rim that's your best transition defense and so that was a big part of, of, of what our scheme was, uh, was to take shots around the rim to try to, to try to limit transition baskets. Tom Murphy. Well, hey, Eric, what was going on at the 101 mark when Petty got ejected? That looked, looked pretty chaotic there. Yeah, I don't really know. I don't know what happened with, uh, with him and Jalen. And I mean, the biggest thing for our guys at the end of the bench, I just wanted them to, I don't know what Petty thought, but. Um, I just didn't want any of our guys to say anything and just keep our composure and and uh, and leave it alone, you know, leave it alone because um, 
you know, obviously two players, Jalen and, 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 you know, Petty, I mean, two teams really competing and, um, you know, that's kind of what it was, Murph. You guys have a really good record when you have extra days to prep more than four days. Did uh, you think the extra prep helped out in this one? I mean, I, you know, I, I, if we lose, I, I would have said no, that we were rusty Murph. And, and uh, you know, I think everything is, um, you know, high. I guess you'd have to ask the players, you know, um, I do know that when, when I met with them uh, and told them um, that I was going to try to schedule a game, uh, and I don't mind telling you now, Justin Smith came up and said, uh, hey, we don't want to play anybody unless it's a team that's really, really good, uh, that's going to win their conference. Uh, otherwise, we don't want to play. We want to get ready for Alabama. And I thought it was a really mature thing because I thought that they would just want to go play anybody. Um, but that was not the case internally because it was about 20 minutes after I told them that the A&M game was canceled and that I was going to go back upstairs with Coach Root and try to find us a game. Thanks. Scott. Oh, sorry. Scotty? Yeah, Coach, what did you think of the toughness Jalen Williams played with? And, you know, the last couple of games, he seems to really be growing up for you. I mean, he's a really confident freshman who keeps getting better. Um, he played great against a ranked team. I mean, again, there's not many teams that, that are relying on three freshmen the way that we are. Um, we're not just relying on them in the SEC. We're, we're relying on those guys to win. We're relying on them to score baskets. Um, I would say we ran more plays tonight uh, for Moses and, and Jay, Jay Will than we did anybody else on the team. I mean, if there was two guys that got the most play calls, um, it was those two guys. Hey, what's it what's it say about him that he was plus 30 in a game like this? Like that seems unheard of. It, it probably is unheard of in 22 minutes. Uh, he's a great player. He's not a good player. He keeps getting better. Um, early in the year, he was patient. Um, you know, I'm sure internally he was getting anxious to play more, but he kept working on his game. Um, he knows two positions. Obviously, moving forward, he's going to have to play a lot of four for us as we look into, you know, into, into the future. Um, and he will because he's a worker with his ball handling. He wants that. him to be the Justin Smith throw, and he's going to let that Australian guy be our center. Everyone, please put your mic That's Adam. on you. Adam, there you go. Thanks, bro. Sorry, did I finish that? I don't know whose question. Scotty, was that good? Yeah, it works for me. Okay. Trey Shep. Yeah, Coach, I think I asked you after the Alabama game about the before about the confidence in your team. Now after this Alabama game, where is the confidence in this basketball team? I mean, I think we're really confident. Trey, we know, you know, we know we have a great LSU team coming in here. Um, you know, we've won a couple games now against ranked teams, uh, which is really, really important. Um, you know, we just got to get ready for the, for, for the Tigers. I mean, that's a great win. I, I hope the guys, uh, you know, enjoyed, you know, the post game and, and um, but now, you know, now we got to, you know, we got to get ready for, for, a, for a big game on, uh, on Saturday and, and um, get ready to compete. We got to get ready to rebound. And, um, you know, if we're not tough against LSU, we're not going to win. And so there's a, there's a lot of things we've got to work on from defensive rebounding. You can't get pushed in the back. You've got to hold your ground, defensive rebounding, and so on and so forth. So um, that'll be the focus as soon as I'm done meeting with all of you guys. I'll be able to go back and start watching some LSU stuff. Randy. Eric, 18 of 28, 64% points in the paint. What was the difference tonight than compared to uh, the first game against Alabama, which the numbers weren't quite so good? And then talk about the adjustment that you made on Bruner in the second half, who really put Alabama in the game in the first half. Yeah, I mean, all of Bruner's shots and, and all of Reese's shots and, and, and the two that Gary took 
So that was nine from Bruner. It was five from Reese and two from number four, Gary. Those are all on me. Not one player was at fault for one three ball that was made from those three guys. And then in the second half, we did change our defense. Um, and I thought it was much more effective. And then as the second half progressed, we went back to our first half defense. So, um, you know, we had a scheme, we adjusted at halftime, and then we went back to our original scheme to end the game. Points in the paint, the difference between the first matchup in tonight's game, 18 of 28 inside the paint for 64%. Yeah, wear some weighted vest and two foot jump stop for the last three weeks. And when we when we work on uh, finishing at the rim, because we went soft to the rim against Alabama at their place. We took too many quick shots. We didn't move the ball. We didn't share the ball. Um, this game, you know, we're, di we're a different basketball team. We've had some great practices, Randy. Um, you know, they could have, when we had some physical practices, they could have gone the other way, but they didn't. They fought through it. And, um, and we're a different team right now, finishing in the paint than we were three weeks ago. Bob, one final question, please. Um, I think he said, Bob, Eric, you guys may have already clinched a bid before this NCAA tournament bid, but do you feel like you've done everything you need to do to, to clinch an NCAA tournament bid at this point? No, LSU Tigers, Saturday afternoon, LSU Tigers, LSU Tigers, Jay Will's up. <laughs>